Hey guys, Zach here with The Spook Report, coming at you with a new video on a very interesting subject that I happen to also love. And the question that has been on man's mind since the very beginning, are we alone? We're talking about extraterrestrials today and how one Harvard professor believes that we just had our first known encounter with intelligent life. We're going to get into that. But real quick, we're going to talk about this being the second video on this channel, and I hope you enjoy it, and if you can help support our channel by hitting that like button and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content, we're going to be going into the spooky, the mysterious, and the unknown in great detail. As you can see, our last video was talking about the Dyatlov Pass incident in documentary form. This video is going to be a little bit more laid back. I'm going to flip-flop between the two of them and see what works best. So today we're going to be talking about Amuamua, which was thought to be an asteroid or a comet, the very first one to ever be captured or known about from interstellar space. That's how it was given its technical name, U1, the very first interstellar object that we witnessed entering our solar system. Really amazing. Early on it was thought to be an asteroid or a comet, however new information is starting to show that this thing may have been truly extraterrestrial. So here is Amuamua. Let's pull her up. This is Amuamua. It is a elongated, thought to have been a cigar shaped asteroid or comet. Now this is an artist rendition obviously or a concept of what it looked like, but it gives you a visual representation and you have actually may have seen this back in 2017 yourself because the media this thing was like wildfire everyone was talking about it because it was the very first one that ever came from interstellar space that we knew about now the chances are we have things like this all the time coming and going but due to our limitations in seeing space well a lot of these things just may come and go uh, we got lucky on this one Oumuamua was captured by a observatory in Hawaii, thus giving it a Hawaiian name, by happen chance. It, it, it wasn't meant to be there, they just happened to be looking for near-Earth objects and they captured this. By the time they spotted it, however, they were not able to send rockets up to it or satellites to actually get more information on it or details. It was coming in so hot from a place that we did not expect that by the time you know, we realized what it was and wanted to do something, it was just too late. Now, Oumuamua is strange in the, sun, in the idea that it's not really a comet or an asteroid. Now, scientists are arguing over this very thing right now, but we're going to go into details why one Harvard professor believes that this thing is neither of those. First, let's go ahead and bring up the trajectory. This was a Muamua coming in in 2017. As you can see, it almost like rendezvoused with Earth, kind of took a peek at us, and then it went off and did its own thing. Now, a Muamua was not so much affected by the sun's gravity in the way that it was able to speed up on its own. And we're going to get into a little bit more information here on that. But as you can see, it comes in, almost perfectly links up with Earth's path, and shoots off. What makes this strange is the fact that uh, it doesn't follow the normal trajectory of a comet or a asteroid. Now, I'll show you that now by closing this out and pulling up our display capture. Try to make this a little bit larger for you. Oumuamua did something completely different than what we're used to in one way. The typical path of a comet comes in in a circle here and rotates around the sun, goes into deep space, where it will be for a long time, and then it comes back hundreds or thousands of years later. A Muamua came in sharp and then shot out again. Will it come back? We don't know yet. We're still trying to figure out this information, but it's just very different, the sharpness, as you can see that. We don't usually get that, you know, we usually get that uh, oval, rotation. This was more like a V, very sharp, so that it's an interstellar object. We will close this out. Now, what makes a Muamua very different from, say, an asteroid? An asteroid is loosely clumped together material. It's 
rocks and you know metals sorry hit the microphone and it's held together by gravity but as it comes into a solar system or near a star like a sun the gravitational effects on that asteroid can be witnessed it, it can be stretched out it can be distorted and it you know you you can tell it's an asteroid because of the effects of gravity as a mua mua came in closer to our sun it actually suffered none of those we did not see any changes in it as far as it being loosely held together so was it a solid object it started to look like it so then it went from being considered an asteroid actually to a comet and a comet is a solid object and you know a comet we all have seen it it is not all of us have seen it but you know the typical uh, look of a comet it has a tail it's very bright in the sky and it, you know the tail is formed from gases and materials that reflect back uh, light that is visible to us you know very beautiful things um, ominous throughout the ages with great change coming so the sh the thought shifted from it being an asteroid to a comet now when a comet gets close to the sun it has a that effect right so when a comet is in deep space and it's like out far right as it comes back in and gets closer to the sun it heats up and it releases those gases the ice and materials that were trapped leaving that beautiful tail so we thought we were going to start to see that from a muamua and well this is what we call off-gassing and off-gassing like we were talking about before is when the Sun heats up the the comet the solid object it releases these beautiful tails inside of the the actual comet itself the solid object you've got fissures you've got cracks you've got tunnels whatever it may be as it's releasing that energy it's actually speeding it up and so it's not uncommon to see a comet come in slow because it's heavy, it's full of ice and material, and as the sun heats it up, it releases that energy, and you can see it in the tail of a form. It's almost like a little rocket, and it actually speeds up the comet and allows it to go faster as it's losing weight as well because, you know, it's, it's warming up. A muamua was thought to be a comet. As it came in closer to us, you know, it rendezvoused with the Earth, essentially, as it got near the sun and started heating up, we were expecting it any day to start releasing a trail, a, t a tail, if you will. However, there was no tail. But Oumuamua did something at the strangest time, right as the sun's gravitational effect would have been the hardest on it, because as it's leaving the solar system, keep in mind it is going fast, so we would still expect our sun to have an effect on it gravitationally slowing it down a little bit as it tries to escape the solar system. A muamua sped up. It did something that we've never seen before without corresponding evidence. It sped up on its own to get out of that gravitational pull. I mean, it would have done it anyway, but it wouldn't have sped up. It would have slowed down and kept moving, but it sped up, which is very strange. So then the next thought is, okay, so it's definitely a comet because it just sped up. It must be releasing a, a, a large amount of gas. And in fact, it would have had to have released one-tenth of its total energy, if you will, to have gained the speed that it did. Um, however, a muamua had zero emissions coming off of it. There was no tail. All satellites that were watching this thing, the Hubble watching this thing, and other equipment and laboratory and scientists around the world watching it saw no tell, saw no evidence of it leaving any chemicals or ices or gases in its trail leaving. So this thing sped up in a way that we've never seen before. Very strange. And in fact, it's kind of telling that this is something we've never seen before. So then some scientists speculated, well, maybe it's like a solar cell. Maybe it's a natural forming solar cell that's riding on radiation or solar winds, if you will. Well, turns out this thing isn't one micron thick. And for a solar cell to be effective and generate the speed difference that it did, it's not possible. Uh, a muamua did not have that. In the sense that, let me tell you this, a solar cell on average is one micron thin. We're just now getting into this 
realm of scientific exploration and using this new technology. But it's not found in nature anywhere that we have ever seen before. So if it is a solar cell, it's not natural because we've never seen it before. It, it could be. The space, space is a very large place. Anything is possible, I suppose, but unlikely. There's probability and unlikely. And this would fall into the unprobable, in my opinion. So, a mua mua sped up on its own without leaving any gaseous trails. It wasn't distorted by the gravitational pull showing it stretching out or compressing again as those uh, factors changed. So, a mua mua isn't an asteroid or a comet. What is it? That is the real question. And one Harvard professor believes that it's actually extraterrestrial because. Not only did it not show these characteristics, and it had a speed-up effect, but Amuamua's reflectivity was ten times higher than anything we've ever seen before in a category of asteroids or comets. Ten times more reflective, which indicates a smoothness to it that we have not seen in nature in space before. Ooh, so it's getting really interesting. When comparing samples of different reflectivity, it turns out that Oumuamua has the same reflectivity as a metal pancake, or a disc if you will. So this is where things get very interesting. It has the same reflectivity, closest reflectivity, to a metal disc floating in space. And what does that tell you? You know, you go back to the old adage that uh, you know ufo flying saucers disc things like that that's what you think of and it's very strange right but we couldn't get to this thing in time before it was already leaving to really know so this interstellar object number one amua amua is truly strange why i tend to believe this harvard professor one why he believes it's extraterrestrial is one based off the evidence we just talked about we know it is something we've never seen before and it had characteristics with we, we've never seen as well it sped up on its own not only did it speed up on its own it has a reflectivity 10 times higher indicating that it is an extremely smooth elongated object and that makes me think that it is a ship we couldn't know because we couldn't get to it in time However, that trajectory is very strange, right? Didn't off-gas. Um, so what is this thing? I would love to know what you think down in the comments below, but Oumuamua to me, you know, it didn't show like it was... In, it, it did kind of rendezvous with Earth in a way, but, you know, something tells me if it is extraterrestrial, it had no intentions of sticking around. It was just coming in and saying hello, in its own little unique way, maybe. I was in the United States Air Force when I was uh, a little younger than I am now, back in 2014. And from there, I understand that you have to have communication relays. You know what I mean? You can't just shoot a signal one place and expect it to cover the whole. You gotta have little leaping stones of communication. A mua mua to me would be the perfect little thing. Like, if you wanted to have intelligent intelligence gathering that if you will this would be the perfect object to just kind of come in do its observation and leave and bounce the signal back to wherever it came from without having to send whatever it was and uh let me just go ahead and tell you this i am i used to be a skeptic before i was in the military i used to not believe it in ghosts aliens or anything for that matter i i had no faith whatsoever but as time has gone on and I've had my eyes open to information that I didn't have access to before or no, my faith in believing in extraterrestrial life is ever expanding. And let me tell you something. Back in 2003 and 2009, something was witnessed that, uh, frankly, we had never seen before. And it is proof that our government is truly following this phenomenon very closely. And we're going to go ahead and show you a video now. Let me pull this up. This was a video taken from an F-18 chasing an unknown flying object. This was released by the Pentagon, by the way. It's called Go Fast. We'll go ahead and play this for you. This is an object moving at tremendous speed, by the way. Roger. 
So, that was taken uh, in 2009, and it, this has been happening for a long time. Military encounters with unknown flying objects doing maneuvers that just aren't physically possible has been occurring for a very, very long time. We're talking about World War II Foo Fighter stuff, which we're going to go into in other videos on this channel as time goes on. But I just want to say, what do you think about this? Think about, in the last couple years, our government and world governments around the world have been giving us more and more information about extraterrestrial life, opening us up to the idea that it may be possible. Even the Vatican, the Catholic Church, has been talking about the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Everyone is preparing for this news to break. Now, this video of these fighter pilots chasing this object, they're absolutely ecstatic because they are seeing something that they have never seen. And keep in mind, they are flying the most advanced military aircraft that the world has. It may be an unpopular opinion, but the United States military has fifth generation fighters like their normal stock. No one else has this technology that we know of. We're talking about going from zero to Mach 3 in a split second and then stopping on a dime and completely changing direction. That is something that does not exist and in fact would kill any human being attempting it in some magical uh, spacecraft that we may have or aircraft. So, Zamuamua, a comet or an asteroid that we just have never seen before doing characteristical things that we've never seen before or is Zamuamua something completely new? This Harvard professor, uh, Avi Loeb, is coming out with a book on the 26th of January that I plan to read and get more details on. So there will be a part two to this video, but I kind of wanted to just talk about Muamua because it's just such a fascinating thing that I think more people should know about. So stay tuned for that. And let me tell you guys, I really appreciate the support we have. This is only the second video on this YouTube channel. And I had such an outgoing support on the first video which may not be big to other YouTubers who do this every day, but as someone who's only made two videos, this being the second, that was crazy to see 2,000 people watch the video and over 100 people liked it, and I got 100 subscribers on my very first attempt. I am truly humbled for this experience, and I really hope that this video is enjoyable for you. Please leave a comment down below, like the video, and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. I plan on coming out with a video every day of the week if I can. I really want to push this to the limits. Uh, COVID has definitely impacted us all in a terrible way, and I'm no different. I'm at home a lot with free time, and this is a subject I love. So stay tuned for the next one. The next video I plan on releasing is talking about my ghost story and actually what turned me from being a skeptic into a believer and open to many new things. It was based on the fact that I was stationed in Okinawa, Japan, and I experienced too many things to no longer be a believer. Again, thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a great day. And if you have an idea for the channel or a story you want to talk about, please let me know. I'd be loving to have that on here shared or even the possibility of opening it up to a group discussion i'd love to bring people on and have like a podcast or something along this this realm of the spooky the unknown until then you guys have a great day and i hope you enjoyed bye bye